hello welcome to my youtube channel want to draw this uh, shaped solid in isometric taking x as the lowest point start with the baseline that's a horizontal line then we have to draw isometric lines which are 30 degrees using our 30 degree set square So we're gonna draw from that point which we are calling the lowest point that is point x you can also draw a vertical axis using a vertical edge then we have to draw a complete block or a cube which is 50 millimeters of side that's you measure 50 and just cut across those lines the isometric lines and the vertical axis so we can complete our block by joining all the corners using both vertical edges and 30 degree edges So there we go, we draw this vertical line. So with an aid of our 30 degree set square, we can as well draw at the sides of the block. This side is parallel to the base. one of these isometric lines on the left on the right hand side so we have to join and again this other side is parallel to the base that decree and look for the top farthest corner and for us to get that top farthest corner we join that line at the back with a third degree set square so we rotate and join this other side now let's get back here we want to draw our circle in isometric this circle here we have to get to know the center point and therefore we draw the center lines which are uh, 25 millimeters away from the base and from one side so we measure 25 millimeter basically we want to determine the center point where the two axes meet the center lines of the circle uh, meet so we have the vertical center line here We draw it with a vertical edge. Then we also have to draw the horizontal center line. And now once the two center lines meet, they give us the center point. And our circle is of radius 15 millimeters. So we have to draw a rhombus first because we are going to use the four arc method in isometric, uh, in drawing the isometric circle. So we measure that is the radius 15 millimeter because we need 30 uh, millimeters a rhombus side or a rhombus of side 30 millimeter. So we mark off 15 from the center point. And now we draw the four sides of the rhombus using a straight edge and a 30 degree set square. The base of a rhombus is parallel to the to the one of the isometric lines of the box. Of course, the top is also uh, parallel to the opposite side. 
and then we draw the vertical lines these lines again they are parallel to the vertical axis so use a straight edge a vertical edge and we draw them and it gives us our expected rhombus in this rhombus we are going to have a circle drawn inside now we are using a four arc method so we join the diagonal then we take two midpoints on one side of the diagonal and join them join them to the farthest corner of the rhombus give us the center centers of the four arcs that are going to be joined to give us our symmetric circle that's one two three and four so with those centers we're going to draw the first arc from there move on to the opposite side at the top also have another center here so you draw then again we have this other arc on this other side which is a bit longer so we get to join it again that big radius from that center at that corner we draw that arc As well, this radius is similar if you have to draw the other arc or the opposite side so now we interchange the corner so now we stand here below here and again we just take this radius the same radius we have not changed anything you stand with it here and you complete by joining that arc So in conclusion, we are going to have isometric circle. And this is how we draw an isometric circle using the four arc method. Then we join the other lines. Those are supposed to be object lines because this is a shaped solid that has a circular cut driven or a circular a hole driven on one side through the hole at uh, the block. This is how we represent it in isometric. So we join these lines with object lines. These were construction lines, but then we want them to be visible, to be part of the drawing. So that is it, but just to remind you, uh, for isometric lines, we need to have that degree here and also that degree on this other side. And this is the lowest point, we called it X. Yeah, this is how we do it. So please consider subscribing, don't forget to subscribe please.